G'day folks, um, just bringing you along to give you an update on my aquaponics system and give you a look at how everything's going and pick a few cucumbers while we're at it. Um, hope everyone's having a good day so let's get to it and have a look how everything's going in my aquaponics system. Okay, if you're new to this channel, this is a three-bed um, system, or make it a six-bed system because they're blue barrels cut in half. Um, at the moment, I'm growing cherry tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, um, cucumbers, and a sweet potato. Uh, it all runs off of a 1100 litre an hour pump. It runs off a fish tank which is a IBC tank with 25 um, jade perch and about 10 goldfish in it. Um, everything runs fine, everything looks good. What I'll do is I'll start down the other end and we'll work back and I'll show you how everything is going. So down Right down the end here we have a sweet potato. Uh, sorry, a sweet potato. Um, growing out of this grow bed here which is full of lava rock. Um, the sweet potato is in that corner there. Comes up out and what I've done is put it into a pot full of vegetable, uh, vegetable potting mix in there and as you can see it's working quite well um, quite pleased with it, it'll be interesting to see when I go to harvest it what um, is in the pot and how well it works the cucumbers up the back are ready to pick um, there's some pretty big cucumbers there so they're ready to pick, I'll pick them off while we're down here there's one just hiding back here that we can pick off. There's one cucumber. Uh, down this other side we've got more. There's one, two, three. Four. and one right up the top here that one right up the top there can I get in ah got him cucumbers and that one's no good another one over there is a bit small this one here it is small so that's um, cucumbers off of there so these are two grow beds joined together, um, made into a frame with the drain pipes on it. These here are Roma tomatoes. And a lot of um, fruit on there at the moment. These are late tomatoes. I lost all my crops um, when we had heat come through here. And we reached um, two days, we had 51. So I'll put that up in Fahrenheit for you, so you know. Down behind here, the poor little pineapple. He's got covered by the tomatoes. I might take him out and put him over there. The advantage is taking him out, put him straight in there. He doesn't get much of a shock, which is a good advantage for them. So that's grow bed number one, which I've called one, which is two grow beds together. Um, next grow bed, we have more of the Roma tomatoes growing. Um, quite good and healthy. There's a lot of fruit on there. Um, I saved a few capsicums out of it as well. Out of the heat. So there's three capsicums or peppers. Sorry, four. No, there's five peppers there. Um, I don't think they'd do any good, it's way too late in the season now. Uh, this back one has a little one on it, but 
yeah it's not going to do any good it's just way too late in the season these tomatoes I put in I'm just hoping I'll get a late crop out of them if we're lucky but as you can see they're growing quite nice that's grow bed number two um, these grow beds are designed if you're renting you can pull them down quickly and move them so it's not a permanent thing where you have to set it all up permanently you can just set it up like this easy to move uh, grow bed number three has got the second lot of cucumbers which are a smaller cucumber up there as you can see uh, and the other side of that's got some cherry tomatoes in it in this one which are just starting to flower and grow and take off now but like I said I'm just recovering from all that heat so I'm hoping to get just a little bit of a late um, crop before change over to winter so there's another two cucumbers out of that one so that's grow bed number three uh, some tank has some um, duckweed in it which I'm feeding to my jade perch at the moment um, which is growing quite nicely the sump tank has jabbies in there to clean up all the crap that gets in there off the bottom um, which is working quite fine the filter is picking up all the garbage out of the fish tank quite nicely not having much trouble there with that um, everything, like I said, is working quite nice. Temperature in the fish tank is 19.2 at the moment. I'll just turn off my venturi so we can see the fish if we're lucky. I'll just take this out of the water, it might settle it down a bit. settle the water down a bit so these are my jade perch and goldfish in here I'm hoping you can actually see them swimming around down the back there, there they are. so they're all quite healthy that's my venturi just there homemade um, works quite nicely and just another air stone to give a little bit more air to the system um, Venturi works fine on its own but me backup air is if anything goes down real bad this air is my backup and that will keep going that's on a separate battery system to everything else but um, I'll turn the Venturi back on as you can see working quite nicely that's my system up to date it's probably getting on to um, six months six months old the system um, and like you can see it's growing quite nicely um, we're getting towards the end of summer we've just gone into autumn and I don't know what I'm going to put in a winter crop because I need to build another grow bed for there and I need to build another uh, four more of these to the other side so it's another five grow beds I want to build and before I get it all finished I want to put in another have eight grow beds four down each side plus I want to have the um, I also want to have the two fish tanks um, fingerlings six months apart and get that up and running as well so I hope you've enjoyed a look at my system if there are any questions work it down in the comments um, I have fixed the comments and they are working now um, YouTube automatically uh, cut off comments for some reason and I've put them all back on so sorry about that 
Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you're new, please subscribe and YouTube will hit you with a um, bell if you hit that bell and YouTube will hit you with a um, notification when I put out more videos um, on how I'm going with my system. So I hope everyone is having a nice day and I shall catch you later folks. Cheers!